bench. UConn's Tiffany Hayes, though, with a three of her own. The freshman will hit nine of her ten shots. Cal would build an eight-point lead in this stretch, however. Alexis Gray Lawson with a ridiculous circus shot. Then Walker, another three. Cal ahead 31-23. to No need to worry, though. UConn and Hayes responded with a 40-12 to run. The lead for Gino and company, though, just two at halftime. Second half, Montgomery with an and one. Beauty. Later, it's Hayes flying through the defense on her way to a career best 28 points. What a time for that. 28 for Hayes, 22 for Maya Moore. UConn wins 77-53. They'll play next on Tuesday night in Trenton, a 7 p.m. regional final with Arizona State. Trip to the final four on the line. The Sun Devils beat the two seed Texas A&M today, 84 to 69. With the wrap from Trenton, we go to Joe Zone. John, maybe it's the time of the year and all the teams are getting better, but I'll tell you what. For the first time this year, UConn looked up at the scoreboard and they didn't like what they saw. Six minutes left in the first half and they're behind by eight. Actually, I'm not even going to lie. I got kind of, you know, I felt a little nervous. Like, you know, it's a close game and everything. But we've been in this situation before. You know, coach puts us in situations when we're, like, down eight and we have to get it back and we won't live, leave the gym until we get it, get it back against our practice players. But everybody came up huge. It was an overall team win. I pretty much knew at some point we needed to make a run and that we were probably going to, but it has to start with a score and a stop or a stop and a score. Stay calm. Um, we're still okay, and just go out there. Um, make sure you play good defense, and the offense will come. Just do it one possession at a time. Uh, at this point in the season, that's not what we need to be doing. So um, once we once we got all on the same page, it you, you know we we put that run on and and push the lead up. So, yeah, it's another one of those big wins, looks big on paper, but it's what they did in that first half, down by eight, six minutes to go, when again, they turned it on and went on to another win. It only gets tougher with three games left to go. With the UConn women in Trenton, I'm Joe Zone for Bernie Sports Sunday. You're watching NBC 30's Sunday Sports Replay. Hey everybody, welcome to Sunday Sports Replay. I'm Kevin Nathan. Tonight, two UConn basketball teams chasing national championships in what could be a repeat of 2004 when the UConn men and women both won the titles in the same year, back-to-back -back days. Now, some of us have just assumed the UConn women would win it all. After all, their closest game all season has been a 10-point win, but they call it March Madness for a reason. Anything can happen, and for a while today, it looked like it just might. Gino Oriam and the Huskies taking on California Sweet Six team today in Trenton, New Jersey. Cal coming to play. Ashley Walker drives and scores. Cal up 7-2 to early. UConn freshman Tiffany Hayes is just terrific in this thing. Left open, takes it, why not? The three makes it 23-22 UConn. But how about Cal putting an early scare into UConn? Alexis Gray Lawson, the circus layup, and then Walker hits a three. Cal goes up 31-23. The Huskies' largest deficit of the season, but the undefeated UConn women keep their poise and answer with a 40-12 run. Maya Moore for three of her 22, UConn down a point. Then Laura Dixon to Tiffany Hayes on the break. Gino's wife, Kathy, is pumped. UConn up 35-33 at the half. Second half, senior All-American Renee Montgomery drives and the foul. Three-point play makes it a 10-point UConn lead. Then a good look from Tina Charles to Maya Moore. UConn, 56-43. But the big story, Tiffany Hayes. They let her open and she delivers. A career best, 28 points for Tiffany. UConn wins 77-53. They move on to the Elite Eight for the 14th time in the last 16 seasons. UConn now 36-0. They'll play Tuesday night for a trip to the Final Four, thanks in large part to the freshman, Tiffany Hayes. They decided to leave me wide open and I just stepped up and knocked down the big shots. If she was open, she shot it, and I think that takes a lot of confidence, and, and she showed that, and this is a big moment in the Sweet 16, so I, I think, you know, she showed a lot of confidence with shooting the ball and making it. You know, without Tiffany and college contributions, we wouldn't have won this game, and, and we all are, are very proud of, of the way both of them came out. It took a little while longer than I was hoped that, that it would for us to settle into the flow of the game. We were a little too, I don't know why, maybe, I don't know. I can't even describe why we were so. What, what's made this team pretty special is uh, they have tremendous amount of trust in each other. They believe in each other. 
Sure. Welcome back to Sports Ticket, everybody. In the box score, today's win for the UConn women will really look like all of the 35 that came before it. Another double-digit margin of victory. But this one wasn't the same. The Huskies were challenged, and they responded. Now here's Sports Ticket's Rich Capola with more from Trenton. All right, Tim, thank you very much. Joined now by the women's beat writer for the Hartford Current, Current and a longtime friend, John Altaville. And, and John, kind of a, a grinded out kind of win for the Huskies today. Yeah, I guess anytime they're not leading by 20 at <laughs> halftime, that's how you categorize it. But it's always interesting to see how they react when they get pushed around. And it's not often, but I mean, they never trailed by more than six points this year. So, you know, with six minutes to go in the first half, they're down by eight. It's interesting to see how they're going to react to that. You know, as a coaching staff, I think, you know, to save your stomach, you want, you love these 30-point uh, plus wins. But I think some somewhere in there, a coach likes to see some somewhere along the line a kind of game, game where they face some adversity and, again, have to grind it out and see how they stand up to that. So somewhere in his mind, you think Gino kind of liked that kind of game? Oh, I, I think so. I think more than the fact that they came back from the deficit. I think the thing he liked the most was the fact that Tina Charles had two fouls in the first five minutes and then came back and played a spectacular game. You know, that's going to have to be a part of the equation. Tina's going to have to play great. Uh, Kylie McLaren, who played a uh, very good 25 minutes tonight, is going to have to play great. So to see Tina respond that way today, I think might have been... Ironically, next to Tiffany Hayes, probably the thing that made Gino the happiest today. And, and John, you know, I've always thought players play to their personality. I asked Coach, you know, if that's the case, what, what about Tiffany's personality? And he said, the first word when, when she was asked by ESPN to describe herself was confidence. She's a quietly confident kid, isn't she? Oh, yeah, she is. When Gino recruited her, he said that he thought, ultimately, she might be the best player that played her position that he's had, which is saying a lot. And, you know, when he says something like that with all the All-Americans, you kind of look at him and go, you know, another Gino kind of. <laughs> expression but after watching her today I mean you have to say that she's got the potential I mean we did see a little bit of the future today too in the second half Gino put her at the point and moved Renee over to the two to try to get Renee going and next year when Renee's gone that'll probably be her role because Caroline Doty will be the shooting guard and so we got to see a little bit of the past and the present mixed up together today. John, thanks for your time. We'll uh, see you on Tuesday night. Absolutely. Thank you, Rich. John Altavilla of the Hartford Current. Let's go back to Sports Ticket. You see it often this time of year. A star is born. And today, no one shined brighter than UConn freshman Tiffany Hayes, who talked about it afterwards with Rich Capola. How much of the game did you see yesterday? And, and when you saw Kemba, if you watched, do what he did. You know, did that kind of get in your mind that she's a freshman, can star like that? Um, I, def I did watch Kemba yesterday and I was really proud of how the way he played and um, um, I was thinking about him and the way he's a freshman and how he stepped up and did big so um, maybe I can come out and do the same thing and lucky I did. Well you sure did. What was you know Tina gets in, in foul trouble early obviously and they had some success penetrating and, and you know getting the ball inside and you just didn't didn't miss a shot. What was you know was it a thing where you knew early on that you hit a couple of shots and your confidence starts going and, and you want the ball? Um, it definitely is one once you hit those first couple, the other ones just seem so easy, and I was glad that I could step up and knock them down or um, look for whoever was wide open for a layup or open for a layup, and just do it all around everything. Obviously, early, early in the year, people talked about being 2 of 18 or 3 of 20, whatever you were from 3. You struggled for, for a, a stretch there, but since then, it's been lights out. How much of that has just been hard work, and, and what role has Shea had in that as well? Um, it's definitely been a lot of hard work into it, um, just either going before before practice or staying after practice to shoot a little bit more and Shay's definitely been a big part of that um, staying with me or coming in early before practice to shoot with me or rebound from me or whatever it is she's been a big help in that once you get a lead really create some separation I mean they had a 9-0 run they go up 31 23 you guys come right back with a 9-0 run of your own to really seize control they didn't score again until two free throws down the stretch how do you guys how are you able to create those such separation in such a short period of time um, I guess with just the, the help of our leader Renee and um, mine and whoever um, steps up, comes in and calms us down um, after whatever happens and just make sure we all are still confident and we're all are still calm and just pulling the team together every time. Was something said after the timeout, after they, they took the, the lead with that 9-0 run, that 31-23, did, did Coach or, or Renee or one of, you know somebody say something at that point that may have ignited you guys? Um, basically, he was just telling us to stay calm. Um, we're still okay and just go out there, um, make sure you play good defense and the offense will come. Just do it one possession at a time. Rich Capola with Tiffany Hayes.